O Manual do Mundo acaba de completar 60 milhões de views. E, como sempre, eu vou fazer aquele vídeo especial, mas dessa vez é especial de verdade. Porque nessa semana veio para São Paulo o Paul Zalum, que é o ator da série Big Man. Pra quem não sabe o que é Big Man, foi uma série que passou nos anos 90 na TV Cultura que falava sobre ciência. E era um negócio muito legal e muito bem feito, que marcou a minha geração. Então, eu fiz uma entrevista com ele. Peço desculpas pelo meu inglês tosco, mas eu tava bastante emocionado. Então, com vocês, o incrível, magnífico e insuperável Big Man! And it's impossible to look at you and not remember Big Man. Uh -huh. uh, I can see by the few words that we we chat by email that you are very humorous and very smart. So, what what uh, what we have in Big Man that is from from you and there is something new that is from Big Man. How is how work this relationship? Right. Well, I think. Uh, The character is based sort of on me uh, just being really excited and being sort of more New York and rolling my hands, do, 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 ding, ding, ding. And that's the executive producer said to me, make that big, make that big, you know, just do the Zaloom thing with rolling the shoulders and ba, ba, ba. So that's how he came about. And, um, you know, it's like playing myself, only more obnoxious. Do you really like science uh, when you was a kid? Uh, Did you do a lot of experiments and how was Poe in school? I would say the part of the sciences that always interests me the most were natural sciences. And again, particularly in, uh, in application. So for me, when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time in the woods and in the pond and uh, working in the woods, doing different things and observing ecosystems and seeing symbiotic relationships between plants and animals and all of that has always been really fascinating to me and really interesting to me and continues to be. Because to be educated and to, to the important thing is to have curiosity and we have to make sure in our schools and the things that we do that children's curiosity is nurtured and not, you know, stamped out and flattened into a pancake and kicked into the curb. So, I don't know if that answered your question, but I, I talked for several minutes. <laughs> That's great. Uh, here in Brazil, I think maybe the same in the United States. Uh, young people don't like the way that school te teach science, especially chemistry and physics. And, but people love big man's work. What is the secret to, to teach science in, in a good way? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know how presumptuous it would be of me to, to, you know, prescribe the solution to the educational problem with people not liking science. But I, what we do in Beekman's world is we sort of open the doors of perception. We say, hey, look, you know, this is a subject matter that needn't be intimidating. It can be accessible to you. It's, you know, it's interesting. It's fun. That was our job just to open the door. It's the teachers who, and the parents who have to do the hard work of really, you know, and the kids who have to do the hard work of the homework and the studying and all the rest of it. But the more there's hands-on experimentation, applied science, observed science, at the end of the day, really what we want more than anything else is for people to learn how to think and how to come up with conclusions, how to make associations between disparate things. That's what's important. Science is a way of looking at the world. You know, and that's exciting. There's always there's a million different ways you can look at the world. So that's what I'm interested in. That's what we want to bring to the table for the kids. Uh, I, I watched uh, this work when I was 10 or 11, and I now in, I'm 30. And do you find a lot of people that become scientists because they watch it? Yes, yes. And what it is is that I a lot of people tell me I'm a scientist because of you. A lot in the States, in Brazil, and in other countries. And, you know, all I did was I went to the factory and I did my job and I punched the clock and I went home. And, you know, I loved my job, I had a great time. You don't really have a sense of what effect you have, you know what I mean? It's not like you're shooting the show and it's like, oh, I'm making television, oh boy. And look, there I am. I mean, yeah, once a week, maybe I'd turn on the TV, I'd see myself, great. But I'm anonymous, nobody knows who I am. Um, so, uh, 
I don't even remember what was your question. <laughs> <laughs> if you know that all, a lot of people that oh become yeah clients. yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry so people say to me all the time you know I I know you've probably heard this a lot or you must get tired of of hearing people say this uh, but I'm a scientist today because of you and I'm I'm deeply moved by that because I'll never get tired of hearing that I had no idea it would have that kind of effect. And if people are realizing their dreams because of something I was involved with, that's great, that's wonderful. Whether it be science or the arts or puppetry or even politics, whatever it is, you know, is great. But yeah, it's, and sometimes it makes me cry. People tell me, I'm a neuroscientist, you know, I'm a brain surgeon today because of you. And I'm a, you know, um, you know, a, a macrobiologist or whatever the hell it is. That, uh, hearing that is, you know, just amazing. It's just great, and I, I love hearing it. So, is there a chance uh, in bringing back Beekman on to TV? Uh, I I don't think it's likely from the studio's point of view because there's no money in it for them. Um, I am touring a couple of live stage Beekman shows. I have one that's sort of a general science experiments, which you saw part of today and another one that's based on neuroscience. It's a show about neuroscience for kids. And I would love to bring uh, one or both of those shows here to Brazil. So that, that I see as, an, as a continuing ongoing thing, as the live performance, which I, I really love to do. And then, you know, I'll do it for adults, I'll do it for kids, you know, whoever wants to come and see it, I'm, I'm into it. For, for finishing, I, I would like to say that the, the same way Beekman was, was, was and is important to you, it was important to me and for thousands of people in my generation. No, that's see. great. That's thank really nice. So well, thank you so much. That's great to hear. Thank you, man. Let's give him a big hand. He did a great job. Yo, join ya.